Hey everybody, my name is Rodney Dupree with Cajun Living and Cooking. And due to some of the tough times we have in our area right now, due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, we won't be able to go film shows. So uh, we're going to ask for everybody to stay safe like we are, uh, use your Lysol, clean up. Uh, we're going to air some of our older shows and uh, we'll have our new commercials on it and uh, everybody stay safe, check out the shows, like us on Facebook, but uh, thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Tideline, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. The dead long ago So join the fun Live off the land Cause there ain't nothing better Than a Louisiana man Tight line, trout line Sitting on a pipeline Waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans Cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live And it sure feels fine Welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today we're at the Cajun Country Jam in Livingston. We're backstage. We're cooking for the stars. Kyle Blanchard's cooking alligator sauce pecan. Cousin Larry's cooking pasta lye and jambalaya. We got fried fish. Neil's cooking. We got the Duke boys here. Mark Chestnut, Tracy Lawrence. It's going to be good. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, Larry, we backstage, man. Here we are, Rodney. We're putting the lads of four bags of rice, 40 pounds of rice, 30 pounds of sides, and 60 pounds of pork. Wow. And everything else. A little bit of my seasoning blend that's not on the market yet, but it will be one day. Coming soon. Coming soon, yeah. So anyway, yeah, we we are honored to be here. You know, a good buddy of mine, yo, right here, invited <laughs> me to come help him cook out here. So I'm I'm really happy to be here today, Rodney. Well, when they said we was cooking backstage, I couldn't think of nobody else but you. So I said, you, man. hey, man. Let's I'm, cook for him. So we, we ought to get to meet Tracy Lawrence, Mark oh, yeah. Mark Chestnut, the Duke boys. Oh, one of the Duke girls, okay. The Duke girls. Bach, uh, uh, Dawn Wells and Bobby Heath. That's, just, that's who I'm here for. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be good. You got your son over here doing all the work. Yeah, he's out here. I put him to work, so that way I don't have to get too sweaty today, right? Yeah, but, and it is hot out here. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, they got the VIP tent right here with the air conditioner in oh, yeah. it so we can slip in if we need to. Exactly. So it's a great event. I think this is going to be an awesome event, not just for Livingston Valley, but the great state of Louisiana, too. What's, ne what's really neat, we're cooking the jambalaya, then we got to pull the jambalaya out, and then we're going to cook a big old pot of pasta Exactly. We're gonna, after we cook the jambalaya, we'll clean the pot. We'll never, our captain, that's you, when you say go for the next pot, we're going to start it off. Hopefully... Not only do we make our customers happy, we make you happy too, right? Yes, That's indeed. All That's all we can do is cook it and feed everybody. That's right. Well, everybody's full, they're happy. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. If they come for seconds, that's all. That's, <laughs> that's what it's all about, huh? All right, I'm going to let you get back to cooking. Thank you. All right, y'all. Look who I got here, Kyle Blanchard. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, bruh, everybody, he's cooking his world-famous alligator sauce pecan. Now, tell us uh, why you're out here. Oh, cause I'm here. I'm a big fan of all the bands out here, the Duke Boys. Been watching that show since I was a little bitty kid. Love the Duke Boys. Well, we said we were cooking out here, and I said, Kyle, you want to come cook? He said, heck yeah, I love that music. So I said, what you want to cook? I said, alligator sauce pecan. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Tell us a little bit of what you got going. Oh, we got a little roux, got everything, got the meat in the pot. It's all ready to go. It's just now got to simmer for two more hours and be done. Yes, indeed. Hopefully the stars are going to love the alligator. I hope so. I see you got some fancy in, uh, ingredients, and I see some bay leaves and Rosemary. some really uh, secret ingredients we can't tell. But most of all, got the Blanchard's Blend in it. That's it. You can go to my website and look at blanchardblend.com. I got this recipe on that website. Oh, cool. All right, I'm going to let you get back to it. All right, thank you. All right, y'all, we're in the VIP tent now, and we're behind the scenes, and this is the people that's making it happen. Let's get their names and where they're from. Donald Ray Pettigo. Irene Manser, Central Louisiana. Tony Romaine, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Y'all, these two do a lot. You don't know, you don't see it, you don't know about it, but they do a lot. And Donald, too. Thank you. You got Pettigo's Restaurant. Yes, sir. Uh, we got just opened Cafe Pettigo's in uh, Walker, Louisiana here at um, 3093 Burgess Avenue. And um, 
We've been here about a year, nine months, and we got volunteer to do breakfast for the celebrities today. So we're hoping to meet a few celebrities and uh, shake a few hands and maybe get a few pictures and have a good old time. Yes, indeed. And he put, he put the spread out here. Y'all tell run through some of the things y'all brought out here. Well, we wanted to kind of introduce a few things that we do besides just breakfast. So yeah. we made some homemade boudin balls, and I knew that'd be a hit for breakfast. Yes, indeed. And then uh, we did the basic sausage, you know. Bacon, ham, everything you can think of, biscuits, milk gravy, grits, anything you can think of, we had it. And he, it's nice out here, y'all. He's got everything here. Everybody's eating. They're going to tear it up. Next, we're going to bring in some food, and we're going to let him eat that. There you go. Good job. Thanks Thank for you, thanks for coming out. Thank you. All right, y'all, we done made it in the VIP booth. We got Mr. Doug Owens here. How's it going? Doing fine, doing fine. I'm glad to be here, man. Glad to be here with y'all. And you're getting to taste some of Cousin Larry's jambalaya. I'm, I'll tell you what. Let's try a little bit right now. All right. Turn now. He did good. I heard some other people bragging already over there on how good oh, it was. Uh, I, he can cook. Delicious. It is delicious. Awesome. Delicious jambalaya. What time do y'all go on? We go on at 1 o'clock. We start at 1 o'clock. And uh, I bet we're going to go back on around 6, maybe before Mark Chestnut. And uh, we might go on before Tracy Lawrence. We just kind of fill it in, you gotcha. know. Gotcha. Uh, Scott kind of wanted us to kind of uh, uh, just fill in whatever they need us to do, too. So we're well, glad to good. be here, having a great time with everybody and the great food. Scott's doing a fine job with this. He's doing a fine job. Every year, I know he puts a lot of work in this thing, and uh, we're sure proud to be a part of it. And we hope we're a part of it from now on out. You know, we have a great How time. How can people get in touch with the Doug Owens band? You can call me at 225-788. 3340, 225-788-3340. We do pretty much any function there is, you know, uh, uh, weddings, uh, uh, reception. We do just anything, you know, private parties, whatever. Well, thanks for talking. I'm going to let you eat the jambalaya. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Appreciate well, it. All right, y'all, we're in the signing barn in here, and I found a fan. He's come all the way from Kentucky. Let's get his name and where he's from. Uh, Brad Harrison from Benton, Kentucky. Y'all drove down here? Yes, sir, we did. Right. Now, uh, you look like you've been collecting a while. How long? Oh, I've been a fan here since I was a kid, but I really got into it around about 1994, and I've been collecting ever since. you got some really nice stuff here. Uh, for instance, the uh, the doll, the Daisy Duke doll with the Daisy Duke shorts on there. You've been having that a while? Uh, no, they just come out with this run. They got these in 8-inch, and they got them in 12-inch, so they just come out with these this year. Gotcha. you got some really neat stuff, though. I, I, he don't look like that anymore. No, he, <laughs> he looks a little different. <laughs> now, you're going to get everybody that's here? You're going to try to yes, hit them all? Hit and them you all. go to shows all the time. Yes, sir, I do. You said you uh, drive a tugboat and uh, you don't get to go to everything. Yeah, I, don't, I, I ride a towboat, and uh, I don't get to catch all of them when I can, but when I do, I try to catch every one of them. Well, awesome, man. They're great uh, for family and everything. Yeah, yeah. that's conversation. You could sit there for days and talk about this. And you're building a car. This is the hood yeah. of a car, y'all. Yeah. He's Trunk lead for my general league. Wow. Hey, man, people like you is what makes it go on. Mm -hmm. Thanks Thank for you. stopping to talk. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>
after a few words from our sponsors. Man, where'd you get those Mr. Pete's from? Hey, it's the New Hunt and Fishing Store. New Hunt and Fishing Store? New Hunt and Fishing Store? New Hunt and Fishing Store? Yeah, on Highway 44 in Gonzales. It's Ascension Living and Outdoors. They carry a full line of fresh and saltwater baits and tackle, including Matrix, Voodoo Shrimp, Missile, Zoom, and local baits like Delta Lures and Humdinger. And the hunting section is loaded with calls, scents, knives, attractants, and much more. They even carry deer candy and Nate's Buck Bait. Oh yeah, ladies, there's even a gift shop. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, we made it outside to where the cars are. I got several General Lees out here. Some nice. They're all really nice, though. They got the uh, mystery machine, and I'd have got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. And then they got uh, some of the sheriff's cars. Really neat, old school stuff there. Uh, another one, another General Lee. And as you see over here, they got the uh, Back to the Future rig. Some more General Lees. And there's Crazy Cooter coming at you. Come on, there's his wrecker. Really, really neat stuff, y'all. Neat, neat. All right, y'all, we made it inside, y'all, and I got Mr. Larry Wilcox from Chips. How's it going? It's going great. I'm meeting some great people here in Louisiana and some tough weather. Wow, it's raining right now. It is pouring down. Yeah. And raining. we're inside, though, and it's not getting us. No, but real humid. Yes. And I've, I, what's the craziest thing you've signed so far? You've signed any body parts yet? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't <laughs> sign certain areas. I don't want to get in trouble, even though they ask you to, you know. But I sign T-shirts and uh, little dolls from Chips, gotcha. you know, collector items. Where do you live now? I live in Los Angeles. Gotcha. Grew man. up in Wyoming and live in Los Angeles. Awesome, man. It's neat for all y'all to come out here and do this for the people that yeah. in Louisiana. Yeah, these are all great people. You know, Louisiana has its own culture. Has some great football, LSU, of oh, yeah. course. You know, great food, as you well know. And uh, we had some jambalaya last night, and uh, we enjoy the spice. And you know, there's a, a diversity of people here that is unlike California, which I really enjoy. Wow. Uh, the, I love it when the French accents built in there a little bit to oh, Creole, got, so it's pretty cool. Well, they got some Cajuns over <laughs> the VIP tent when you get over there. Can Hilarious. you talk with them? Can oh, you yeah. understand them? That's a lot of BS is what it is. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for stopping and talking with me. Hey, thank you. Appreciate Enjoy it. chips on the old Me TV reruns. All right. <laughs> Thanks. All right. All right, y'all. We're in the VIP tent now. And this storming out here, the, the tent shaking and rocking. Found Whitney Van, who's here shooting her show. How's <laughs> it going? It's going great. It's great to see you. You too. You too. You, I love your show. Oh, thank you so much. It's I, great. I love doing it. It's a lot of work though. So I know what you go through. Oh now. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you you got to eat some of Cousin Larry's jambalaya. Oh my gosh. 
I, and that I tell you, because I'm not on the morning show at Channel Two every morning. More. He would. He comes about five or six times a year and cooks. So for the last nine months, I had missed his cooking immensely. Oh, well, so that he was it. doing it, I needed it. I am fueled <laughs> and good to go. Ain't it neat having all the stars? I know. You know what I said because it's really getting a little dangerous out there. Tents yeah. are blowing. Ours is staying down because they're so good. But if we're going. If we're going to die, baby, we're in good company. We're with the stars. We're here. We get to get in line with them. Who do you think goes through the pearly gate first? <laughs> I'm running behind them. Uh, me too. <laughs> we're going with uh, Jeannie from Barbara Eden. Yeah. I dream of Jeannie. I see her over there. Mary Ann is delightful. She's in the pen. Enos. Yeah, Enos. We got uh, Scott Ennis. Oh, well, we love Scott Ennis. <laughs> the voice of Scooby-Doo. You know, that has to live on forever. But, yeah, it's so fun to see all these stars. I want to thank you for stopping and talking with me. Oh, it's my pleasure. And have fun the rest of the day out here. I'll do it. Hey, and best of luck with your show. Continued success. Thank you. I know it takes a lot of work. All right. Thanks. I never knew as much till now. <laughs> Keep it real. Keep it living. <laughs> All right, y'all. I made it in here with Enos. He's been eating up some of the food. They got a break. The weather was bad. How you liking it over here now? Hey, man, I love it. I love the weather, too. That that makes me feel right at home because in Georgia, we got, we got fair weather, hot weather, and then boom. And then it just comes it and rains. pours. <laughs> That's right. How'd you like that jambalaya? I love that jambalaya. Hey, that, I got to eat some of that alligator sauce picon. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Blanchard cooked the sauce picon. It was really good. It's so good, it's all gone now. They ate it Yeah, all. it was gone before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to get some somewhere. You've been needing some interesting people signing autographs? Yeah, hey, these people are wonderful. Salt of the earth. I love them. Every one of them. They were really great people. Yeah, it's good people in this town. And Scott Ennis is doing a fine job putting this on. Yeah, Scott is great. I love Scott. Hug Magazine. Yes, indeed. Hug your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you for taking a moment and stopping and talking with me. Thank you, Rod. I love you. God bless you. Thank you. All right, y'all, we're back in the VIP tent. And with me, I've got Catherine Bach, Daisy Duke and her two daughters. Let's get their names. Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Sophia. And you have two beautiful daughters. Well, thank you. Follow after their mom. Well, thanks again. Uh -huh. <laughs> How are you liking it here? I, oh, I love Louisiana, and I love this area. I love, we went to the Cajun Pride to the swamp and saw all the alligators yeah. and all the, all the animals, and we heard about um, Julia Brown and how she, the yeah. voodoo queen. Oh, wow. We saw her grave, and it's just so peaceful in, in the swamp. I love it. And the food's good. Oh, the, well, let's not even go there. The food is so good here. It's too good. It's amazing. Yeah. What y'all had the best thing y'all ate since y'all been here? Ooh, I had really good gumbo yesterday. Really good, like, chicken gumbo. It was good? I had really so good, good beignets, too. Oh. oh, I had amazing iced coffee. I had really good coffee. New Orleans coffee. Oh, no, it's yeah, crazy. Coffee. How about the pickles? Okay, how about the fried pickles? Oh, oh yeah. And, and the Oh, John's, we had amazing pickles. Yes. This is That's good stuff. These pickles are so good and and also it's so trendy. I mean this is this Cajun Creole the kind of cooking is gonna become very attractive because this is sweet and hot. Yeah. And spicy. It's not a bread and butter, it's not a it's not a deal, but I wanna thank y'all for stopping and talking with us. Had a blast. Loved what's the show. Your, what's your favorite food? My favorite food. I'm a hamburger steak guy. I don't know. I, I love. Yeah. That's my comfort food. I go yeah. to the hamburger steak. You can't beat that. Cool pork we got some pasalaya we're cooking later, so you're gonna have to try that. We'll and we're frying some. Over to the barn because I gotta get back in there with everybody. All right. Well, thank y'all for talking with me. Okay. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. When you're hungry and you need something quick to do, try Uncle Larry's stew and a few. Your day will be here in 
20 minutes. Please help me, Uncle Larry. With stew and a few, any stew is possible. Just add the protein. Crawfish stew? You must have been in the kitchen all day. Marry me. When you're hungry and you need something quick to do, try Uncle Larry's stew and a few. Whiskey River, take my mind. Don't let her memory torture me. Porsche's sausage, located in French settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor in customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites hog cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on site butcher has all your specialties smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, we reverse roles today, y'all. This afternoon, actually. Rodney's doing the cooking. I'm doing the interviewing for this segment. So, Rodney, you're going to have to show us what you know. All right, tell me about the we got some. Fish. We got some fish here. We defrosted it. We got it cut up. Kyle Blanchard's going to help me, and he's got some friends also. We got 30 pounds of filet here that we're gonna fry up. Batter them up and fry them up and feed the stars. Now you cooking too, what you cooking? I'm gonna do a postula. I'm gonna do, a, while this is going on, I'm gonna do the postula. About an hour and a half is gonna be ready. But I can tell you right now, you got some big chunks, so that's what you want. You want people to have something to- Oh yeah, they know oh they yeah. Got a piece of fish. Big piece of fish. They were whole, we were gonna cook them whole, but we decided to cut them in half, and that way we can spread them around a yeah, little more. exactly. Well, you're doing a wonderful job with your culinary Hard skills with that knife. Just be careful. Don't 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 cut me up for a fish. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Thank All right, y'all. We out here on rain delay. Oh, this is just this is a little miss. I got James Gilmore with me from 100.7 The Tiger. How's it going? Doing good, man. How about you? Doing good. Doing good. Y'all been promoting this thing for a while. Dude, we have been ready for this for months. I mean, it's been the anticipation. All the cast from the Dukes of Hazard, the cast of Chips. You've got Don Wells from Gilligan's Island, which still looks oh amazing. amazing. Barbara Eden, she still can fit into the genie outfit from <laughs> I Dream of Genie, and of course a great musical lineup. We've had the Gillis Silo, we've had uh, uh, we've got uh, Louisiana Larue out here, and of course still coming up Mark Chestnut and Tracy Lawrence. Wow, so that's that's good stuff. I mean, and that's just on one day. And the rain's not going to stop this from going on. We're going to no, have some music. Not at all. In fact, people have been sitting over there. They popped up their umbrellas. They put on their ponchos. Some of them are just out there, and they don't care. It doesn't matter. They're just out there in whatever they wore out here, and they're enjoying the show. It's good food, good fun, good people. Absolutely. I mean, and the smells coming from out here. Yeah. Just amazing. Every every time you walk by something, something smells so good. That's Cousin Larry over there with that fossil. <laughs> oh, man, that looks so good. And, and the catfish you guys got frying up. Oh, I can't wait. I want to thank you for stopping to talk. Oh, love it. Love it. Appreciate everybody. We're going to get you some fish. Here. I'm ready for it. All right. Thanks. All right, y'all. We out here in the back behind the stage, and we don't got a hold of Mark Chestnut coming out of his mobile home right here. That's a bus. That's the bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Called a pre-vote. laughs> How you liking it out here so far, Mark? Oh, no. I like it because it ain't hot. Yeah. It's cloudy. I'd rather the rain than the hot. <laughs> now, uh, how's the fish? Oh, man. That's good stuff. I've been watching y'all cook over there. And I've been waiting. He's been waiting. I've been sitting there waiting. Patiently so. waiting. Y'all didn't call out for takeout or nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to give you a jar of Alvin Ray's pickles, too. All right. Really good stuff. You'll like them. You'll get hooked on them and start trying to get more. We think to eat them. Right it now. goes good with that fish. Pickles. Thanks, man. What's the best thing you've eaten in Louisiana <coughs> since you've been right here? Well, I had some... I had some alligator earlier today. Uh huh. Now I just had this. Same guy cooked them both. And this is good. Too. That's good eating. Yeah. Well, I've I wanna... been waiting on this. I've been, I've been watching. Well, good, good. I want to thank you for talking with us. Oh, I'm... And like they say, break a leg. I'm going to break both of them if I get on that stage. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you.
Strong show of a sad boy He's a old man But he's no Bring the songs and flip in All the ones who jump to his feet Just like somebody kicked him All right, y'all. Larry, man, you got it going on again. We got it going on. Pot number two, right? One pot, two jobs today. Jambalaya first, Bachelai. You'll be ready in about five minutes, Rod. So That's because you got good help. Wonderful help. We just met Tony, and Tony again did a great job for us during the pot walk. Me and Rudy was adding ingredients. Rudy, what, what, what can you say about today? Ain't nothing more. You can't, you can't do anything better than hanging out with your old man all day. You're right. You're right, bro. You're right. You're right. Man. And he's teaching you right about that stuff. Oh, That's good yeah, cooking, man. bro. Yeah, yeah, down. Bro, we done met some people. Ronnie, I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for inviting me to this. Because like, when you asked me about this event, I said I had no clue. But today was just a wonderful day. Met a lot of super nice celebrities. A lot of super nice people that was helping with this. So I got to give my hats off to you, Rodney, because you did a great job with uh, with this event, man. I'm going to tell you. Well, I wanted you to come because you cook so good. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your confidence. And I thought the jambalaya went well. Oh, yeah. But I think the pasta line, people going to be getting ready for a little supper right oh, now. Oh, yeah. They're That's coming from other parishes. They're smelling this. They smell exactly. I hope stay in St. James Parish. Don't come here. <laughs> All right, we're going to let you get back to cooking. We're going to taste something in a little bit. All right, boy. You have to give me, you're the first one in this pot, Rod. All right, y'all. We're up in the VIP tent. I come across one of the band members here. Let's get his name and what band. What's up, y'all? My name is Caleb Paul. I'm a singer for the Gillis Silo out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Y'all rock, bro. Y'all really rock. How can, people, how can people get in touch with y'all? Well, if you guys want to check us out, you can go on Facebook and uh, look up the Gillis Silo. Or you can uh, Google it. We got some music videos on uh, CMT.com, and you can also check out our new EP, Pieces of the Highway, on iTunes. So you guys check it out, man. Go like our Facebook page and support us on uh, all the social media sites, and we look forward to seeing you out there on the road. You've been tasting some of Kyle's fish. Oh, man, this fish is delicious, man. It's some good stuff, man. I, I was, this is like my third bowl. Right. I, like, this is my third bowl of stuff. I'm a, I'm a fool for some fried fish now. Well, they always say the starving musicians. Oh, I'm not starving today. I'm eating good today. Well, thanks for uh, taking a minute and talk with us. Hey, man. Thank y'all for making the food. It's delicious. All right. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. Had a blast. Cajun Country Jam out in Livingston, y'all. Really good stuff. It's still going on right now. It's going to go on into the night. They got fireworks and everything. But we had a good time. We had good music, good people, and a, I'd like to thank everybody who helped out in the cooking. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.